Hi everybody. No camping this week unfortunately because I've hurt my back. I've been right grumpy git all week. So I'm gonna try and keep a smile on. <laughs> so I've been a One Tigress fanboy since the start of this channel, self-confessed. So when they contacted me saying, do you want to check out a few of our products? My answer was a bit like, heck yes. So the first one we're gonna look at is an EDC man bag. <laughs> it's an EDC pouch. That's my patch I put on there. It's a clamshell shape. You could put any Velcro patch on here. So let's take a closer look at this. You can see the first thing we've got. It's got uh, mall attachments. So these can clip in to your rucksack or onto your belt. Very solid buttons. So they're not going to come off in a hurry. Let's open this up and have a look inside. So as I say, it doesn't come with a patch. You can add whatever you want on there. On the front, we've got all these different attachment sections. So you can attach another bag to the front of this. Or you can use it just to clip things on. Same on the back. We've got all these mall attachments there. And it's in the uh, multicolored camel pattern, the one the British Army use. We've got two-way zips. And this is the inside. So it doesn't open all the way. So if you're holding it in your hand, it's not gonna just fall open and everything drop out. And it's got a number of clever things inside. So we've got a zip at the back, a little pouch there. We've got three different elasticated sections. These two are slightly larger on the outside and a medium one on the middle. Then this part here is actually detachable. So you've got a Velcro patch at the bottom, it attaches to this. And these are all elasticated again. So you could put a lighter in there, ferro rod, a pen. We've got the same the other side. Inside, there's a map compartment. Just a perfect size for a map. So you could leave this at home or attach it inside if you want it. Onto the other side of the bag. We've got two pouches here, which are velcroed in place again. Just to keep something small, it's up to you what you keep in this bag. Uh, like this label as a EDC bag, so that I mean everyday carry. You could put things in there from little knives, lighters, just anything you need on the road, little sewing kit, things like that. And the last one, you get another pouch. This one is unzipped. So if you just want to uh, get something easy access there. I'm very impressed with it. One thing I would like to see is this sort of upright because it, as you can see, it's not the same angle as this. It does work like that. But then as soon as you're lifting this out the way, it wants to come out. All right, so my thoughts on the EDC. I think it's called the Dragon Snail. It's a pretty cool name. Here's a little close up again. I think it's a very nice bag. I will be using this quite a bit. I actually took it away with me last weekend. 
what I did is tuck the, the map section out. And I had my head torch in there, little bits and bobs, uh, a bit of first aid, lighter, knife. Yeah, stuff like that, a little bandage. And it worked really well. So, you know, if you need any essentials, you just grab this and they're going to be in there. Like I say, I would like to see that at a slightly different angle for version 2 if they come up with that. But apart from that, I think that's a brilliant design. It weighs in at 320 grams, so it's not ultra light, but as you can see, it's solid. It's 500D nylon. That is rough and ready. That's going to last you. They're on Amazon at the moment for about £28 if you come from the UK. So I would recommend that. I will be using it. I'll come back to you in a few weeks' time. Tell you if it's lived up to expectations. But I think that's going to be coming with me quite often. Just for the ease of grab it and there's all your stuff. And if you do fancy one of those, I'll put that below for you. Thanks for checking out that vid. I hope to be back out again camping next weekend. Like I said, my back is in bits at the moment. I don't know what I've done. Fed up. Well, thanks for watching. Catch you next time.